Alright, so this is the first problem in this section we've got. Let new be assigned measure, and if we have an increasing sequence in our sigma algebra, then nu of the union of the sets is equal to the limit of um, the measures of the set in, sets individually. Conversely, if we've got decreasing sequence, and the measure of the first sequence is finite, then the measure of the intersection is equal to the limit of the measures. So this is basically just like inner and outer regularity on um, for positive measures, but of course here we've got sine measures. So the proof, of course, is going to be very similar. So let's start. For the first claim, let's let E0 equal the empty set just for convention. This will make some of our formulas easier. Oops. Then, by countable additivity, I spelled that wrong. Additivity. We have, so here, what do we have? We have nu of this union from 1 to infinity of ej is equal to the sum from 1 to infinity of nu of ej set minus ej minus 1. And this is because all of these sets are going to be disjoint. And so now this is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from 1 to n of nu of these guys. But then, this is just the limit as n goes to infinity of nu of en. Alright, let's keep that there and start with the next claim. For the next claim, basically we want to use the first claim in this. So we're going to let fj be e1 set minus ej. Then fn, or I guess if we want to be consistent with fallen curly brackets, this is an increasing sequence in our sigma algebra. Also, because, um, let's see here, we know that these guys here are finite by assumption, and so we're fine to write fj, or nu j is equal to, nu of fj is equal to nu of e1 minus nu of ej, and then just moving that to the other side, we've got nu of this guy plus nu of this guy equals nu of e1. And we also have union from 1 to infinity of fj. Now let's just look at these as sets. This is just the union of e1 set minus ej. But then by set operations, this is e1 set minus the intersection from 1 to infinity of ej. Okay, so now we can apply the previous claim. So we have the following. The limit as j goes to infinity of nu of fj. What is this? This is just nu of the union from 1 to infinity of fj. Um, that's by the previous claim because nu, because the fj's are increasing. So now this is equal to nu of e set minus the intersection from 1 to infinity of ej. And now that is equal to nu of e1 minus nu of the intersection of ej. So therefore, 
new of e1 is equal to new of the intersection, the ej's, plus the limit as j goes to infinity of new of fj. That's just rearranging that equation that we had above here. And so, now that we have this, this we can write as equal to nu of the intersection from 1 to infinity of ej, plus, and then if we break this part up, we have the limit as j goes to infinity of nu of e1 minus nu of ej. Now, since nu of e1 is finite, we can subtract it. And so we have um, 0 equals, let's see here, what do we have? 0 equals the limit. No, 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 no. 0 equals nu of section from 1 to infinity j. We're basically done. We have um, this limit here is just going to be nu of that this is going to just be nu of ej, and so this is going to cancel with this. And so, we're going to get this minus the limit as j goes to infinity of nu of ej. And so, this means the limit as j goes to infinity of nu of ej is equal to this. And we are done.